Here's how sympathetic vibrations work on the piano. Basically what you're doing is you're um, creating sympathetic resonances with the partials of a given uh, uh, string. For instance, in the, in, if we use this low C string as a demonstration, this would be the first partial or the fundamental. The second partial is an octave higher. Third partial is a twelfth higher. Fourth is a double octave. Fifth is a double octave and a major third, etc. Okay? And you can actually cause those partials to vibrate sympathetically by silently depressing the key that you want to create the sympathetic vibration. For instance, we'll silently depress this key C and then strike the C an octave lower. And what will happen is the damper pedal will keep this C from vibrating. Instead, we're going to hear this C vibrating sympathetically. And you can also do that by, sustain, by pressing the sustaining pedal down, which gives you theoretically some other sympathetic vibrations in the piano and might make it a little bit louder. I see. Okay. So you, you release it after... Okay. That, that's right, I that's see. right. Now, we can also do, holding that same key, let's depress the C two octaves below and see what happens. You can hear it, but it's yeah. much quieter. Yeah. And the reason why it's much quieter is because this would be the third partial of this low C. Yeah. yeah. Whereas when I strike this C, it's the second partial, so it's a it's a it's a longer vibrating column, longer vibrating segment of the string, so it produces a louder sound. Now let's try and produce the the, the third partial. I'm going to silently depress the G key, and strike this low C, and you hear the sympathetic vibration. And now we'll try the fourth partial, and you can tell they get yeah, quieter and quieter yeah, the quieter. higher they go. Yeah, yeah. That was barely audible for me. Of course, yeah. if you mic it, it could be yeah. a kind of a cool sound. Yeah. So, what about giving time for a performer? To right. Um, when you want to use this technique, it, it takes a certain amount of time to silently depress the key. If you're not careful, you make a sound, yeah. right? So, you have to push it down all the way without a sound. So if, you're, if the hands are involved in doing something, um, you have to allow, allow enough time. Now, a good pianist, and I'm not a very good pianist, but a good pianist can do that. Whoops, see what happened? I, yeah, I rushed yeah. it. <laughs> I see. So it's about a second. Yeah, maybe yeah. Two seconds. The more time you, the, the, you give to the hand, the better, the, the better. The better chance it can, okay. can be. Yeah. Nice, thanks. Yeah, you bet. Yeah, that sound too. Yeah. It's like uh, the devil is coming. Yeah, if you close mic that. <laughs> See, these sounds are great. <laughs> to me, that's bayonets. Top of Yeah, but the, the strings here have a brighter metallics. Uh, it's, it's a different metallic sound. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, but to me, that's definitely not as scary as that. Is more scary. You get different depending where you drop it. Listen, listen. You can get a longitudinal vibration. Listen to this. Yeah. Sounds like humans crying. If you amplify that. Yeah, you have to amplify it. Let's get two. Go back and forth between two strings.
I this see. Is an amazing so approximately what? Uh, let me just check. Appro it's a B flat, right? Mm -hmm. Around here. Okay, so maybe B flat is around the. And see, the thing is, you have to do it in a place where you have access to the strings. You yeah. These yeah. strings don't work. These these work, and unless you do that here. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is like uh, bass guitar or something. Oh yeah. Okay. Partials. Okay. This one does. This one has partials. These strings are so long you can get almost any partial. Yeah, yeah. 